<laughs> hey, you buckaroos, how the heck are you? So if you can hear the music behind me, I, of course, I don't own any rights, anything. I'm not an important person. But there is no reason for me to, to own any of these rights. Uh, I hope none of the rock stars get their knickers in a twist and want to sue me. <laughs> that being said, so... So we've been doing some uh, house cleaning for, for reasons I don't wish to get into at the moment and package stuff up. Uh, but uh, we came across some some homemade CDs, I guess, and just, uh, you know, compilations that we made ourselves when we were making long trips to St. Louis, you know, with Seamus. Anyway, so my wife was gone for a large portion of the day. Uh, Spends time with her daughter, and then uh, she's got some things going on with uh, her mother tomorrow because her mother's birthday is coming up. They're doing something tomorrow for it. Uh, so, anyways, uh, I've been uh, there were some discs we found. Some of them were so beyond, you know, they, they were just gone. There was nothing on them. Uh, but anyway, anyway, uh, some of them I, I've been playing, and they were uh, some some discs were discs that Seamus actually made. Some were discs I made with compilations. Some were he, some some of them were uh, discs that he put together. This is one of them at the moment. I, the, the thing is, I don't know which is which, so I'm having to play each one to see what's on. Uh, not all of them are uh, saveable, so I'm kind of going through some of these. And... So I'm not going to tell you what songs you're playing unless it really means something at a particular point. But... Oh, yeah, actually, <laughs> this one I'm going to tell you about. Uh, cheap Trick, come on, come on, if you can't hear it, uh, you'd like this too. You know, it's funny, uh, Trick. Cheap Trick gets known for certain songs, right? Surrender, um, uh, gosh, uh, I Want You to Want Me and all their poppy stuff. Uh, come On, Come On is a great tune, Southern Girls, uh, songs they don't get noticed for. But anyway, you like this song. I mean, I guess it is a poppy too. Listen to it now, but it is a little more edgy if you really listen to it. I mean, it's certainly not. I want you to want me, or, <laughs> or surrender for that matter. I don't know why this tune didn't get the airplay that it really should have gotten. But anyway, you like the song? I do too. At the end of the night, I'm kind of winding things down. Did a beer group earlier today with some friends. Had a couple beers, took a little break. Now I'm, I'm enjoying a combination of a couple whiskeys, actually. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, a couple weeks ago, I found in a liquor store some Cabin Fever Maple Whiskey uh, for only three ninety nine a bottle, right? So I picked that up. But then I've had some uh, uh, White Mule. Uh, <laughs> I've had some White Mule. Uh, apple pie moonshine, so I kind of combined the two, and I got some apple pie and maple thing going on here. It's pretty freaking delicious. As much as I personally don't like uh, sweet whiskeys, <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is pretty tasty. So I started kind of a shitstorm on my Facebook page. <laughs> Didn't mean to. Sometimes I just post up, see what happens. <laughs> I've been really trying real hard, real hard, real hard. To avoid politics, but when I do delve into politics, I try not to post, you know, stuff that everybody else is doing. So I try to make a joke every once in a while. But anyway, so I, I thought it was a, I thought I was saying something funny, which was to me and, and to most people. But it did fire up a small handful of folks <laughs> that disagree with my politics completely. <laughs> Some people have no sense of humor. That's that's what cracks me up. Is you've got the right that wants to call anybody that doesn't agree with him. Uh, a, a snowflake. You're a snowflake. You don't like Donald Trump. You're a snowflake. But if you say anything against Donald Trump, they get their panties so far up their crack they can't see straight. Yet you're the snowflake. They, they get they get their panties in a twist over virtually nothing, right? Uh, but but somehow you're the snowflake. I just that logic makes absolutely no sense. They get twisted about nothing, but you're the snowflake because you know you have empathy and compassion. They possess neither empathy or compassion. But somehow you're the snowflake. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. 
So I've got this disc playing in the background. Yes, you've guessed it. I'm, I'm like the Jerry Seinfeld of uh, video. <laughs> I said, this, this video is about nothing. <laughs> Just whatever random thought happens to be passing through my mind at any given time. I said, I just, I just put this disc on and start talking. I'm going to talk a little bit about why I put these discs on. So, uh, back in 2007, was it seven or was it six? God, I'm confused. I'm going to say seven because it's all kind of legendary for me now. But anyways, I, I had one, t I think maybe it was six for the first one. Anyways, I had one tickets for us to see. Uh, or, or to go to one day of Rock and Homo, which was a three-day show at the time. And again, at the time, it was mostly, it was mostly, not all, but mostly 80s rock bands, you know, kind of you know, doing a big show out there in uh, in Oklahoma, prior Oklahoma, I believe is where it was. So I won tickets for one day. Seamus and I went out there for the day, and it was awesome. So the next year, we decided <laughs> My wife gave us permission for some reason. We still don't know why. Uh, for Seamus and I to do all five days. They made it a five-day festival. In fact, uh, they did, the next year they scaled it back to three days. And still made it a five-day festival. But yeah, we, we, we took vacation and stayed out there for five days. It was crazy. Uh, but anyway, but the first year we won tickets for it, um, there was actually a meet and greet in Springfield, Missouri, to see some of the bands or some of the members of some of the bands. Anyways, and some of the members were uh, at Chips Enough from Enough's Enough. And, and I got to tell you, this guy was just incredible, right? I mean, he was, you know, I don't, he answered questions. He talked to the fans. Uh, Joe Lestay, the same way. Uh, uh, Joe Lestay from Bang Tango, Beautiful Creatures, uh, the guitar player. For Bang Tango and uh, Beautiful Creatures, um, Michael Thomas uh, was just amazing. In fact, he keeps in touch with me to this day, right? I mean, he, you know, uh, through all we went through with Seamus, him and I exchanged messages. That guy is just amazing. If you ever get a chance to see Michael Thomas, any of the bands he happens to be in, this guy was, it is a, an amazing guitar player. In fact, uh, Seamus, he was in Seamus's top three, and his top three was uh, <laughs> his top three was pretty damn impressive. His top three was in this order: it was Joe Perry, Slash, and Michael Thomas. Those were his top three players in that order. So I apologize to Michael Thomas for putting him number three, but I think that's pretty damn good company. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, but anyway, we met Joe Lestay, which was great. Uh, Michael Thomas, I can't remember. I, the, there's a drummer there for Beautiful Creatures and Pastor Chris's band. I apologize for not remembering his name. He was so friendly, and every time we went to we went to the again the first year we went to the show, the second year he remembered us and talked to us uh, off when he, when he wasn't doing his thing. It was just nice. Anyways, uh, okay. I just got listening to some of this stuff and started reflecting on it. You know, sometimes I get talking and I lose my place. I forget where I was when I started because I started here and I went down to this place. And I was not talking about the first place. <laughs> Tell me that wouldn't happen if you stay focused. I know I just don't have that ability. If I had the ability to do so, I would. <laughs> I just can't do it. I'm not built that way. I'm, I'm, I kind of like to do this. And I'm going to make this way. <laughs> So there you go. Hey, uh, I'm about to finish this drink, and if I feel over anything else <laughs> relevant to say, I'll come back. I am trying to be with Oh, oh that's Beast. Let me show you Beast. Say hi, Beast. Beast. That yeah, Beast is in her own little world. Beast, uh, Beast isn't all there, but we love her. <laughs> Beast, are you there? Oh, there she is. Oh, oh sorry. I love Beast. Sorry, Beast. Say hi, Beast. <laughs> There's the Z there. Yeah, she wants you to rub her belly. Rub her belly. Why is she rubbing her belly? What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know. <laughs> I'll talk to you. Later.